Welcome back, folks. Today, we are going to get our train line here going from Amsterdam to Berlin, going down to Prague as well. Now, there is a little hiccup here, and that is that we have the Krokonosche mountain range in between us and Berlin. I guess it's the Krokonosche mountains here. I don't see what, what other mountains it would be. So, yeah, it must be the Krokonosche Mountains that are here. Uh, I used to work in the Krokonosche Mountains as a tour guide in Spindelhof Mlyn, which is a, uh, a skiing uh, destination. Uh, skiing, so I was a tour guide at a, uh, for a Danish uh, company sending Danes down to the Krokonosche Mountains in Spindelhof Mlyn to go skiing. Now, Getting our train lines running through here is not going to be easy. Hmm. How the heck are we going to do this? As you can see, uh, the mountains are very much in the way. Very, very much in the way. And we have this uh, uh, sandstone in the way as well. So I think I think we'll, we're going to have to come through this way down here and then have a train station something like here or down here. Because I want to continue on down to Vienna and then to Budapest and to Belgrade. And probably down to Tirana and all the way down to Athens as well. That's my thoughts, anyway. So, let's get started. I will leave it paused for a bit because I don't really feel like we have a choice. Uh, it will be expensive. No doubt about that. Uh, we'll, we'll get this in again. Don't worry, don't worry. Because I really want you to build over here. So we will get that in again. And it will be... The train line... Uh, here. That, that we have going up to Amsterdam that will continue down. So... It will come down something like this. And then cross like this. Now, is there any reason that we would want ships to come all the way down here? There could be to pick up coal and stuff. Could be. This looks terrible, doesn't it? Ish. Now, the question is, is this... Oh, we can only get them down here, so it doesn't matter. Unless we want to do some terraforming, but then we'll uh, address the issue when we get to, that, to it. So... I think... We'll come across something like that. And then... Something like this, so this will be a tunnel, I think. I, I do not want it to be a floating bridge. Um, so, ah, dang it. Why did it do that? You know what? It's going to be easier just to delete that road for now. So something like this. No! Damn it. Is that the right direction? More or less. Uh, 
little bit more like that. Okay. Let's see. It was this one I was using, I think. Kind of like that. And it can go 120 on it, so that's what we'll take. And we will get all four lines because our cargo lines will come down this way as well. So that we have cargo going the whole way. Okay. Bridge pillar collision. What are you colliding with? That's weird. What are you... I can go that far. I can't go... What are you colliding with? There's nothing to collide with! That's frustrating. Come on. Auto save, you can do it. I mean, we are completely lined up here. Um, hmm. Size doesn't need to be so big. Just need to fix this up a little bit, I think, in order to get it going. And over here, I'll just do that. And hopefully, now. Nope. I don't understand. <sighs> Is it this? Could it be this, perhaps? Uh, go down. Not really, it seems. Okay. Could it be in here? Uh, I mean, this, I suppose, could be it, but I don't really do anything there. Nope. Right, let's try it from the other side. Okay, it uh, for some reason works from the other side. Fine, I will take it. I will take it. Now, uh, let's just try one of these and see, because this was obviously be a tunnel. Uh, buildings. We want uh, what does this look like? Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This actually looks pretty cool, but I seriously doubt.
Uh, right, let's move away from this. <clears throat> uh, okay, it looks really, really cool. I'm going to place it. Uh, we will probably, uh, well, we will tear it down again. What I just want to see is, can I get cargo on here? Uh, I guess not. Nope, it's just the two way. So we can't do that. Okay. Let's demolish you again. We will use that somewhere, though, I think. Um, renovated rail stations near. Uh, Hey, what do you look like? Bahnhof train station. I suppose that's fine. Let's try and put you in here and see if we can do... No. Can we put... Can put cargo platforms on you. Okay. All right. And so we want you to be 320 meters. We want two tracks. Uh, Contenery, yes. Outer left module is a platform. That's right. Uh, Train station is Prague in in Prague is actually quite big. Uh, I've been there a few times. Mm, I think we'll go with this. And let's see, we have those there. I think we're going to have to take this road out and put this in somewhere like here or something. So let's take this road out. And put this in. Where is Vienna? It's over there. So let's put this in. This is not going to be easy, guys. I actually would really like to put it in the center of town. Can we get it in here? Can. And then it can go down that way, which is directly towards Vienna. You know what? We are going to... Uh, Tear out a few roads and buildings. Uh, like that. So that we can have our train station. Coming in here. I think that'll be fine. Don't you? Uh, probably need to turn it a little bit like that. Okay. That's fine. Uh, configure it. So that we'll put some uh, cargo platform. Uh, what's this? 
It's passengers. Now the question is, before we do this, do we want the Prague train station to go somewhere else? We might. Go out to Budapest, Bucharest, Istanbul. I mean, Riga, Warsaw, and Gdansk can Hmm. They could go into there as well. So yeah, we do. Um. This isn't easy, guys. Sorry it's taking a while, but I want to do it right. So we'll do this. And then... We'll configure it. We'll grab the cargo platforms. tracks I don't understand why I can't put catenaries on them yet that really that's really weird to me Schnellbahn 70 kilometers an hour it says 90 Hopefully we'll be able to put catenaries on these at some point. We will have to take out some more buildings. Because we need another... ...row here, and then we need another... ...platform. So that'll have to go. That'll have to go. Okay. Well, we left a little bit of <laughs> the town on that side. A little bit. Not a lot, but a bit. Okay. Now, coming into Vienna, kind of want the passengers to come in. We're on this side to the west and go in there. So let's put in some tracks. So we want those tracks to go in there. And I'm fine with it being a very long tunnel. That's okay. And then these tracks. Uh, need to come down to here and then split off and come out to here and that'll do fine there it is right yeah there it is okay this was not easy doing So we have catenaries here. We do not have catenaries over here. These catenaries came automatically. Don't know how I can put catenaries in 
or those other ones. I just don't. That's fine. And then put one in here as well. All right. So that was a lot of building for a short distance. That's just the way it is sometimes. Uh, let's get... Kind of want to get want to get these going out some before I start putting in uh, roads to cross over. Okay. That looks terrible. Uh, let's just do that. Makes it look a little bit better. Uh, I think I'll take that back a bit. And do this as well. Okay. Now, uh, streets. Let's upgrade you to medium street. Let's upgrade you to medium street. I think you already are. Uh, and then... Let's... Do something like this. And that'll get that part of town hooked up again. No. Oh. Could. Excuse me, had to sneeze. Could do with getting hooked up over here as well. Uh, so. Let's come across here. And not hook in like that, but hook in like that. Okay. That'll do. Uh, Alright. Um, let me put in the signals real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the signals and we now have... I don't know if you've seen that. I think you saw it, but I don't know. But we have these cool uh, Berlin... Or, uh, yeah, Berlin U-Bahn uh, signals now, which I think look nice. So, uh, we've basically been paused all of this episode. Uh, also because we need to hook this in again. Uh, which I completely forgot about. Uh, this looks terrible, doesn't it? Uh, can we do that? We can. Can't do it straight. Well, why well, could it, could we do it before, but not now? I was able to do this just a second ago. What the heck? Oh, it's because I still have it on straight. Uh, that's why. Nope. That apparently has nothing to do with it. There we go. Weird. But it works now, so that is good.
Okay. Um, and Prague is building out this way a little bit, which is nice to see. Okay. Um, we need a bus tram station. Um, what if we put it in here? That actually looks pretty okay. Could also put it on this side. That's probably better in my opinion. Uh, we can't do that. That's disappointing. Suppose we could do this. It's terrible though. <laughs> uh, what if we did something like that? That's kind of okay. Uh, let's see, we want two platforms on the right, 30 meters long. There. Let's do it. Okay. This is actually okay to me. Uh, though I didn't actually want to have three platforms. I just wanted to have two on the right and none on the left. So that will make it a little bit better. So there. Okay. And then we need bus stops. We'll have one out here. Uh, you know what? Let's configure you. And put a mm. oh, it'll be fine. Little uh, Russian or uh, Austrian looking house there. Looks kind of nice, actually. I kind of like that. Okay, uh, so we have that in, and that means that basically our bus just needs to go there and there, because this over here is now covered. So that's all good. So, uh, new line, uh, from there to there, and this will be frog. Purple. Then uh, we can buy our vehicles up here, I think. We could buy them all the way up in Hamburg. Yeah, why not? Um, uh, buy vehicles. We need passengers. We need the Gaganau C40. Or the post bus. Hmm. You know what? We will use the C40. And we'll get two of them. Now we'll get one of them. And we'll put you on Frog Circle. I kind of want to see what you look like. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
that's pretty cool. There's seating up top as well. Yep. That's very, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So we have the Gaganau on its way down there. And basically... Uh, where does Prague want its goods? Uh, cargo... It wants it right here at the station. So the station actually covers most of it. Not all of it, though. So we'd have to have a truck stop over here somewhere or over on this side. Delivering down in this area. We'll leave that for now, I think. What we don't want to leave, though, is passengers. So, Amsterdam, Berlin Express. Uh, let's see, after Berlin. We want you to go. To Prague and then to Berlin again, and then to Hamburg. Yeah. Okay. And where do we have our passenger trains? We have one there. And we have one here. Okay. You're not quite full, but we have... Actually, quite a few people waiting to go to Berlin. Uh, 77 people want to go to Prague. I doubt it. They all want to go to Hamburg. But I guess they'll be going to Prague first. Oh, we actually have a passenger down here. Waiting for the Amsterdam and Berlin Express. So that is nice. Good to see. We have some goods sitting here waiting. You are making okay money. You're just coming in with 34 goods. So 30 and 47. You're coming in with 32 goods, 14 goods, 16 goods. Are we looking up here? We have a lot of plastic and no steel stored. We really need to up our steel production. I don't suppose we got any new uh, cargo vehicles. Oh yeah, we got the Benz Tarpaulins, which can do 40. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, see, we have 91 million, so I think we can afford. Why is there only 29? I think it's supposed to be 30, but uh, replace. There we go. And then we will. You. Uh, Benz to Poland, replace. And you. Benz to Poland's. Okay. So, this will probably create a bit of traffic jam because they drive a lot quicker now. So we'll see uh, if we need to adjust the number of vehicles that we have on here. But it will also 
significantly increase the amount of steel that we'll be getting down here, which is very, very desirable so that we can get our production up to a little bit more than that. Uh, well, it's worth quite honest, a little bit sad amount that we're producing now. Um, we do have things waiting here. It's looking pretty good, and we will continue on in the next one, where I'm not sure yet what we'll be doing, but I guess we'll figure it out. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.